Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. So, today's an exciting day because we're gonna be hanging out with our little boy all day. We're gonna be doing that because, as most of you guys know, we got him his travel crate. We got him the first one and he didn't fit in it, so we had to get him a bigger one. So here's a video of me teaching him how to get in it. Check this out, you guys. So Malachi has been laying here for like literally a good five minutes. Hasn't even moved. He kind of likes it. Fits a lot better. Laying down. His patitas are out, but I'm sure he can like fit. And if he stands up, I think he's good. Um, I give him some treats, but this is like way better than yesterday. You like this one, Malachi? This one's better? He's like, no more, dad. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and put the top on and see if he likes it a lot better because he's a lot more comfortable with it. Come here, look, come in. Good boy. See you guys, so looks like he fits a lot better. He's more comfortable, so I think he's ready. You ready, Malachi, for the top? So yeah, dad, bring it. All right, thank guys, so Malachi is in the cage. He's feeling really happy about it, and he's comfortable, and he fits really good. Watch, I'm gonna see if he turns around. Okay. See, so he can at least turn. Lay. Lay. Good boy. See, so he's at least comfortable. He lays down. He fits pretty well in it. That's a good boy, my kind. He's at least comfortable with it. I think next I'm going to give him a bone in there. That way he can uh, bite it and then he can play with it right there. So he's a good boy, huh? That's a good boy, my kind. That's a good boy. Look at him. I feel like on car rides, he's going to feel more safe in here, huh? Like more comfortable. I kind of want to go inside. Do you fit with him? <laughs> Stephanie. Oh, what is that? He's like, Mommy, don't you ever go back inside there again. <laughs> He's like mad at you. He's like, don't do that, Mommy. <laughs> like, Dad, did you see that? That was for me. So, yeah, so he learned very, very well. Now, the big test is if I put it inside the car, while he's excited, is he gonna be able to go inside the travel crate? Because he's used to just being in the back seats, roaming around wherever. That's when we had like our other cars. And those cars, like he scratched up like the outside. He scratched up the inside. He made it dirty. He put hairs all over the place. Honestly, it was our fault. I mean, we love our little boy just because, you know what I mean? We want him to have like liberty. We don't want him to feel enclosed, but we just didn't want to get our cars like really, really dirty like how we did to the other ones. So that's why we got him this little travel crate. We want to take him to the park. We want to take him to my mom's house to go see his little cousin because we would take him all the time. And now we just take him like around our house in the backyard, but I feel like he misses going to like the park and his grandma's house and all that kind of stuff. So he already knows that the day is about him because look, he's already excited and tired. Why are you excited and tired, huh? You already know this video is going to be about you? You're going to go outside -y? He's like, what did you say? He's like, mommy, did you hear that? What did you say, dad? <laughs> it's kind of exciting to it's see. It's cold. It is cold, but it's kind of exciting to see like your little boy going out, huh? Yeah. Places. It's because it's new to him, so he doesn't know yet, but yeah. like, he knows. Most of you guys don't know this is our son. We treat him like our son because that's the closest thing we have to our son right now, huh, Bobby? <laughs> Look at Stephanie. He gets so excited. So one thing bad about Malachi, it's not really a bad thing, but he gets too excited. He's not like super obedient, but he is obedient. But look how excited he gets. He knows that this means he's going outside. Come on, Kai. Let me see. Let me see. Patitas. Hey, and he gets so nervous that that's why he pees. I don't know why he does that, but... Oops, put it on backwards. Sorry, my Kai. You have to do it again. Come on. Look. <laughs> playing tic-tac-toe on the ground, you guys. Okay. Look how many circles he does. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. We have everything set up back here. We put this little thing right here so it doesn't like stain the car. And then we have his kennel right there. Let's see how he does. All right, so this is gonna be the hardest part, you guys. Let's see if he goes in there, all right? Go, go, go. Hey, okay, go inside, go inside. Look. You want him? Go get it. Good boy. There you go. All right, so we're good to go. <laughs> That was easier than I thought. I, I knew that the ham would come in clutch, so I need to put some more in here just for when we come back. Guy, he's like, what are you guys doing to me? That's a good boy, Matt. Okay, we're gonna go to grandma's house. Go to grandma's house. <laughs> he looks weird being in there. I kind of oh. don't like it. No, he's a good boy. All right, we're driving away now. He's kind of like whining. I'm not too sure why. He's probably confused. He's not used to it. That's yeah, why. he doesn't like it so far. I don't know, but once he knows where it's gonna get him, he's gonna like it. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna be like, oh, let's go for sure. All right, guys, we just got here. Who's a good boy, Makai? That's a good boy. He did good job. For your first time, that was pretty good, Makai.
So this is Malachi's favorite park because it's usually like very private, usually not that many people. And we like to put them in around the baseball field because it has like a large fence around it. But unfortunately there is kids playing today. So we won't be able to take them there. And I would let them free right now, but a whole Pacific Ocean decided to come over here to our city. That's pretty crazy, you guys. That's like a lot of water. They're probably having like a cookout or something. Either but... it like fell or they just threw it there. Is it cooked? No, it's definitely not cooked. I think it was. You think so? No. Yeah, look, it, cause cook, look it how it shreds. Oh, uh, oh, like they burned it, but they didn't put it in water, huh? Probably. Damn, I don't know. that's a lot of rice. All right, so we spent a little bit of time at the park, and now we're gonna be taking him to his grandma's house where he has his cousin Oreo. He's gonna be so excited for it. The tough thing, I still have two pieces of ham. I'm gonna save one piece for when we come back after Malachi's grandma's house and then I'm gonna save the other one for right now because that's like the only way he'll get in the crate but I feel like he's gonna put two and two together he's gonna be like you know what every time I go out I have to go inside the kennel then that I'm gonna enjoy being in the kennel because I'm gonna go somewhere so that's what we're hoping you guys and if you're wondering how Stephanie looks at the park this is how she looks <laughs> She's all bundled up. If she had a blanket, she would be wearing it right now. If it was of availability, damn, I can't even say that word. Of avail, of avail, damn, I can't. Ava, av available, but put I-T-E, how do you say it? Availability? Availability, there you go. So I should've took more English classes, love that. But I remember this park. Did you used to play at this park before when you were younger or no? No. No? Yeah, this was like one of my go-to parks, but they had to switch it up. Like there used to be something bigger right here. Nico, come here. Come here. Let's go. Dang, he gets so excited, you guys, that like, he just doesn't even care. Look at him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go pee on this bush right here. Look. Who's that? <laughs> Look, who is that? <laughs> They're all excited. <laughs> You miss your cousin? All right guys, so we've been here for a little bit and I haven't seen Malachi in like 20, 30 minutes. So let's see what he's doing. Hey, what are you doing? You playing with your cousin? Uh -huh. All right, they gotta be good cousins. They like playing rough a lot, you guys. But look, they love each other, look. They love each other, but I think since they're both uh, like boys, guys, that they want to show superiority, I think. I'm not sure. But Oreo's a small dog, but he does not back down, huh, Oreo? You don't back down from cousin, huh? Yeah, like, nope. It seems like the younger or the smaller the dog, the like more protective they are. The more like bravos. Cause Malachi is kind of a sweet dog, but he can be aggressive with other dogs. Look, what is it? Let's see where they're going. Okay. Oh, they like going to the pool area. Now, the cool thing about my mom's yard is that she has two yards, but they don't really let the dogs go on this side because they can drown. Hey, runner, Evelyn. <laughs> What's wrong with her? <laughs> Look at Oreo. Oreo looks like he's running fast, but not really. So we're back home, guys. When you literally have the best swagger in the world because she gives you like everything. Look at this, guys. You guys see this? Goodies. Now this is the type of Easter basket I want. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. It's freaking heavy. Okay, so let me show you. So basically it's a bunch of goodies, like household items, like, you know, this bleach. We got some really bomb smelling softener, some detergents right here. We got some Tide. We got this right here, the little sheets, dryer sheets. We got some razors, okay. Got some for Jesus too. We got some deodorants up in here. These ones smell really, really good. It looks like they have, it's supposedly it says 0% aluminum. I've never tried the Dove one. I've always stuck to like the secret and um, I've had the Dove sprays, but not the Dove deodorants like this one. So I'm gonna try those ones out because they smell really, really good. We also have some shaving cream. This is another spray deodorant for men. We got some Ajax bleach, a uh, hacks or whatever you want to call it. This is to clean 
basically anything, bathtubs, toilets, sinks, um, honestly, anything you want to deep clean. We also got this, Mr. Clean Clean Freak. This is very nice, very lemony, zesty um, smell. It looks like you can use it on kitchen appliances, stainless, and bathroom. Honestly, this is a must. And we have a lot more detergent and softener, so we got a bunch of goodies. Love that for me, thank you so much. But anyways, um, besides that, I really wanna go to the store because I wanna go get like a couple of more grocery stuff. Today's kinda like a chill, kinda like catch up cleaning day because we cleaned a lot yesterday, like really deep cleaned. I washed all the clothes and I wanted to wash our bed sheets and I was gonna do that today, but I'm probably just gonna do that tomorrow. And then maybe tomorrow we'll probably like wash our cars and stuff like that. But yeah, so right now I just kind of want to go to the grocery store and get some bananas. Like fruit because I need some for my smoothies. I want to get like frozen mangoes. I have frozen peaches, but I really want frozen mangoes for my green smoothie. So yeah. Right now I'm eating this granola bar. It is a Sunbelt Bakery oats and honey granola bar. These are really, really good. All right, then guys, so we're the type of people that we like grocery shopping at night. I don't know why, like, why is that? Huh, it's just, it's more peaceful, not as many people. Um, if you come in the morning, it's kind of chaotic. Like, I feel like everybody grocery shops in the morning. So we like to do it at night. Here's the f***ing real struggle is finding a cart that's not broken, huh? They're usually always broken, huh? They good? They're actually kind of nice, though. They fixed them or like, what? they updated them, like... Updated. They updated them. They had a software update. We got a good one. All right, so I'm wondering, all right, I feel like social media, it kind of, if you like look at memes and stuff like that, they'll post stuff. And it seems like we're all on the same page. Like we all had the same childhood. Like we'll all have like the same, like we'll do the same thing. Like we'll drink water out of freaking hoses when we were little kids and just stuff like that. And I feel like everybody has the same childhood. So I'm wondering when you guys adulted and moved out of your parents' house, did you like not get these anymore? But when you live with your parents, you had these? Cause that's me, that's Stephanie. We never got these, but when my parents used to get these, these things were fire, like legitly. Probably like one of the best breads ever, the cheese ones, I think there's a berry, raisin, and then the breakfast claws. They're all fire, you guys. And I literally just saw them and I was like, my nostalgia. Is it nostalgia or is it uh, euphoria? Yeah, wait. <laughs> Oh, nostalgia? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, avocado girl. It took me a damn while. All these avocados are hard as hell. Bro, if they're green, damn, this one looks like... What well, does it matter if they're green? It's just if they're like... It's just how they feel like this squishiness. Needs... But like... Oh, all these little ones like look good them. too, no? They're kind of soft. So honestly, this is probably the most exciting part about grocery shopping. One of my favorite items to kind of decide what I want is literally cereal. Because there are so many options. Which one do you try? Which one do you want? And it's such like an easy like go-to meal early morning late at night and it's so bomb i think last time i tried i don't know which ones are the ones that i tried last time they're all oh, those right there frosted flakes vanilla marshmallow and they were pretty good but this time i'm feeling a little bit more chocolatey i don't think i've tried these i think i tried the regular chore ones but these chocolate ones look so fire have you tried these baby or no they look kind of good oh these are mine bonita you can get your own which ones are you thinking or what strawberry banana cheerios let me see those I've never seen this before. Yeah, Stephanie likes the healthier ones. I kinda wanna try it. it looks strawberry good though. Strawberry banana cheese. Does it have does it have regular strawberries or it doesn't say? Look at Stephanie's mouth watering already. Um, hey Dodgers. I don't know whose hat that is. I don't I don't that know either is. what that is. We're still wondering. Yeah, we're still wondering who bought it when. You bought it. Did I? You bought it but you never wore it. I don't wear hats. Watch, let me see how awkward I look with it. Let me see. This is why I don't wear hats, alright. I'm gonna look embarrassing a little bit, but let's see. No, you won't. Hey, come on, pick it up, Junior. Come on, pick it up, Junior. You look like a dad. Come on, come on. I it's just think the hat's tight. too small for you. It's tight. I, I feel like I'll, I'll look better if I have like snap back like this or what? It's too small. Wait, flip the camera. Let me see. It's flip too the, small. Let me see. Your head be looking a little. If I wear like this, when you look yourself in the mirror, you're just like. It makes your head look bigger. Does it? Yeah. I would wear. Yeah, I would wear them like that. I'd be like, you know me. Put it back on Stephanie's hair because her hair is a little crazy without that. <laughs> She freaking looks like she got electrocuted, huh, baby? It looks like you got electrocuted. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so. I've been All having right. crazy hair days lately. Oh, yeah, same as fuck. We're getting stuff that, because we get lazy with cooking, so we're getting, like, lazy items this like time. We, the, we hardly ever get mac and cheese. We haven't had mac and cheese in a while. Crave ass. And then I've been seeing people get this a lot for some reason, uh -huh. so I wanted to try it. Oh, yeah, I think I saw a TikTok video on that. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but, Ooh. like, I want to try it. Like, and quick then, rice. My cereal that I don't even know what it tastes like yet, but I'm huh. excited to try. 
some celery. I got some spinach. I have a cucumber right here. A little toy. We got some bread because we want to make um my toy. Oh, wow, yeah, she heard that one, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. We got this loaf of bread because what are we going to make with this? I think I want to make like spicy chicken sandwiches with it. Patties, I put them in their fire. I make a really good turkey sandwich with it. That'll be good, yeah. Those breads are always oh. good. And then uh, for tacos de papa because we're craving that too. Hey, where's my avocado? Oh. Yeah, hi, Daz. Yeah, just that right there, 100 bucks. Love that. So this is another one of those items that I was telling you guys about that. Did we live the same childhood? But see, I feel like this is more like for the Mexican families. Who knows? Maybe other people had them too. But these kind of blankets right here, instant softness. Like if you're in Antarctica, these are the blankets you want. These will keep you warm for the whole remainder of the time. Honestly. I don't know why. Like why? Is it just because they're like so thick or what? Bye. The ones with the tiger on it or the lion or yeah, what was it? Or like Oh yeah, those were like, like extra. Tiger, I think. Yeah, the tiger one was like extra soft, extra freaking it comfy. Was, it felt great. Huh. I think we still have some, honestly. Literally. For like when the family comes over and then they're like sleeping over. Oh, and you get that one, you're gonna go to sleep right away. Right. So this grocery list that you're seeing right here is kind of our bad decision grocery time, huh? But it's not like our healthiest option. It's kind of like we didn't need anything before. We're trying to think of stuff to like make quickly. This so, is our, like, if we're trying to, like, be lazy cooking. The ice cream? No, that's no, just like a... That's a, Oh, yeah, lazy cooking, yeah. Yeah, so everything that we're getting is, like, lazy cooking. Because we try to get stuff that's, like, cooking, cooking, but... We have that stuff already at the house. Yeah, but we get lazy sometimes, yeah, so... Yeah, like, sometimes we wake up and we're like, damn, I don't want to make eggs and huevos con chorizo. And, like, we're just about to put this bread in the... No, we're going to put one of those croissant sandwiches oh, in yeah. some kind of oven. No, well, we haven't, we haven't used the air fryer in a while. That's why we're getting a lot of stuff like chicken nuggets, pizza bagels, these, these, uh, these fries. Um, not the healthiest. Um, we're just, we, we, I don't know if we're going to get these. I don't know how they would there, but yeah. And then Stephanie, I don't know what's going on. I think the color on these is really freaking cute. You I want like to throw away the white ones that we have at the house. Why? Because like we have some like this from Target, but they're white. And I just feel like they're old. Like the smoothies are getting stuck. Oh, on the and you, you can't take them out. You know why? Okay, I don't plastic. think I don't think these cups are right. Cause you see that line that's like in the middle of it right there inside of it. Okay. It was too thick, so it was hard for like the sponge when you like clean dishes to like lavarlo. Should we not get them? But I don't think this one's that thick. These are kind of like skinny or what? I don't know. I thought the color was cute. Thank you. It's giving matcha vibe. My picture. Yeah. Fuck it. It's giving matcha. Yeah, Stephanie's in her inspiration stage, so. And then these are a must. So we made it back home. <coughs> Damn. I just had Doritos and that shit took my throat out. That's just, are you trying to speak? Mm. Strangled my throat. You guys are wondering what two young adults with no kids make to eat for dinner? <laughs> Let me show you, all right? So what we got going on over here, baby? So over here, um, actually, <laughs> Let me tell you guys a little something. When I used to work at this restaurant, Bravo Farms, uh -huh. we would always get this loaf of bread right here. Fire. Some French bread, cut it in half, put some marinara sauce, mm. then put some pizza blend cheese, whatever cheese you want, uh -huh. and then put some pepperonis on there. Fire. You're basically making homemade like pizza. homemade pizza on a really thick, crunchy crust. I'm so excited. So good. I'm like so crying. We're going to put it inside the air fryer. Usually we would put it in the oven because the oven was always on like 24 seven at the restaurant. So I don't know how it's going to come out in the air fryer, but I feel like it's going to be really, really good. Wait, we should just put it in the oven or what? It's going to take longer. True. Or what? Because it's not preheated. I can preheat it right now because you still put the cheese in pepperoni or what? Because I don't, yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, it's not going to fit in the air fryer. Just preheat it then? Yeah. We would have to do one by one. Yeah. And then over here, this is our little appetizer. Oh. What is it? Fireness. Look at that. Some chicken McNuggies and some fries. We already got the ranch. You guys, so we're making everything homemade. Yeah. We got this because I kind of want to put them kind of like boneless wings. Like... Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do that? Yeah, put it in like a bowl. A zip one? Yeah. My fire, they're Not all crispy. Not a ziplock, but a, like a bowl. And we used to do that at Bravo too. Hey, creative. Like people would get this just to eat on their lunch. It wasn't for the restaurant, it uh -huh. was just there. And then we would get the chicken tenders, fry them, and then once they're out, we would cut them. Like boneless wings? My mouth is getting watering. Hey, yeah, I know. And we would put this. Okay. It was so good. And if you guys are wondering what Malachi does this whole time, nappies, huh, Malachi? You tired from grandma's house? He got so tired from grandma's house. Yeah, on the way back on his... Oh, hey. oh hey, fast man. Nobody called you, Bobby Sheep. 
We forgot to mention that on the way back, he was like knocked out. Like he didn't cry once. He was just being a good boy. He was laying down. And it just made us happy, you know what I mean? Because we don't like to see him like sad and he gets away with a lot of things, but that's not how it should be because- You got him obedient. Yeah, obedient to him. But he's very obedient. How am I gonna, come here. You want some? Sit. That's good boy. This is what our homemade pizza on French bread looks like. Look how bomb that is. So I did this off camera, you guys, but I actually cut the bottom half of my bread because it was a little too thick. As you can see, Jesus is a little bit thicker than mine. And Jesus said he wanted it like that, but now that it's out of the oven, he's like, wait, yours looks better. Yeah, like a flat, flat bread kind of Yeah, style. but it looks good still. I feel like maybe you can cut it. It might be too much dough. That's what maybe, I'm saying. That'd be too much. But yeah. we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, that's why mine's thin. I like it like this. Yeah, mine is thick. Look. See that? Yeah, see, mine's thin. It's gonna be hot or My what? pepperoni. Okay, ready? Damn, okay. I don't know if I want to try it. Mmm. 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 No, pepperoni bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder how like every like Pizza Hut, Domino's, Mina's everywhere. Like their pizza tastes different. Like it's what, the marinara, the cheese, uh -huh, the like bread, dough. the dough, everything? That's crazy. If I had some sausage. If I had like pepperonis and like bell pepper, I should have put spinach. Probably would have been good. Damn it. You guys, I highly mm. recommend this. It's so freaking good. We ended up doing it in our oven, not in the air fryer. All right guys, so Malachi wanted to finish the video with us. Hi Malachi, you wanted to be a part of the outro? Hey, Bushita. Look at them. Are you mad at them or something? Or what's going on? Let's see Malachi. Did you like your travel crate? But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Me and Stephanie are literally so full. We're like so happy with our stuff that we got, huh? I know, right? It was like homemade, but like fun. Yeah, like it wasn't boring. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't stuff you could get in your backyard, like trees and grass, you know what I mean? I forgot to show you guys my boneless wings, my little boneless wings with the nuggets and like the buffalo sauce, but they were actually so bomb. Like it like reminded me of the ones from where I used to work at. Yeah, I usually don't like boneless buffalo wings as much, but those were pretty good. I'm probably gonna do that next time too. But before we do in today's video, we do have to do a post notification shout out, which is going to Humi Bubby. So today's post notification shout out goes to Rosha Valerie123. Shout out to you. Remember also like a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, turn the bell and the comment window. Without further ado, thanks for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.